Hey, hi, how are you? I just wanted to tell you really quick before at the beginning of this video that this is a long one. It is almost two hours long. And as I was editing it, editing it and trying to, um, you know, kind of edit out some of the fluff, I decided that I'm going to actually post two versions of this video. So I had originally started these pages last year and I had found the video footage of that. And so this video here that is really long is of the complete process of me starting these pages in my Nomad book from the beginning all the way until the end. And I just finished these pages um, a few days ago. So this one is long and it's the whole process. I am going to go ahead and then post another video that's me doing the same page, but it's basically where I started off when I started working on this page a few days ago to finish because when I left off at the end um, last year when I was working on these, I didn't have anything glued down. I hadn't done anything like that, but it was just the whole process. So I thought I would give you guys some choices. I didn't know if you'd want to see everything that went behind my creating these pages or not. So if you do, stay here with this video and you will get to see my whole process. If you would rather see a quicker version of me just kind of working on the pages and putting it together, then be sure to check out the other video that I will be sharing um, of me doing the same pages. So I just wanted to explain that to you and I hope you're doing fantastic and I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much, everybody. Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Diane Fago, and here on my channel, I share with you all things about art journaling and junk journaling and collage art. I do a lot of collage using magazine images and botanicals, florals, and sometimes I share with you some mixed media projects. And today I am going to finish up a couple pages here in my nomad book I was looking through my laptop this morning while I was having my coffee and I found an old video where I had started working on a couple pages in here and I think I had done it like October of last year so I think it is way past time to finish these pages and so I am going to just go ahead and take us over to my work area and we can get started on that. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for coming here and visiting my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy what I have to share and I hope that you um, decide to give me a like and subscribe. That would be wonderful and greatly appreciated. And um, if you're returning, thank you. I know that I have been away for quite a while. I kind of was gone all summer and didn't realize it had actually been about almost six months since I had posted um, my last video. So I have shared a couple videos already here recently working in one of my other journals. And I think, um, I think it's a good time to finish these up. So let's go ahead and go to my work area and get started. Thank you again for being here. And I'm really happy to get done with these pages finally. I forgot to mention just real quick that the first part of this video, probably the first about 40 minutes or so, are the original video from back in October of 2023. Um, so that will be all old. I will be showing um, probably images and journals of pages that if you've watched anything recently that are probably done and in different books and who knows what. So it might feel a little bit disjointed from anything that I've posted recently. Um, and so yeah, so then after well, I don't know, I think it's probably about 40 minutes, I will pop on um, as now and finish up those pages. So I just wanted to clarify that with you because I know that I actually talk about an image that uh, I actually just used in a journal the other day. So uh, that's what's going on with that. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here is my Nomad book and I have done a few pages in here and I have videos for several of them. I do have some papers stuck in here and there 
that I have found as I've been working on just different pages in my in here or as I've been going through magazine images and things like that I come across uh, images that I thought would work in here and so that's what some of these are I have some I'm just kind of tucked in but what I thought I would work on tonight and it's it's just Saturday night it's 9:27. here look <laughs> isn't that fun um, it's 9.28 now on a Saturday night and I have just kind of the past couple of days been trying to start working in my collage journal again. I actually, last night, today, started adding a couple things in here and I went ahead and added these images here on these first pages I was actually writing there on the soap book flap so I added these things in this found word on here and then I was going through and just looking to see if I had anything in my one of my little bins because I keep all of the leftover pieces of flowers and leaves and just other things and I have a lot of those just collected in some of these plastic plastic bins I've got some for jewelry and but I was flipping through it to see if there's any that would go in here and since I'd already done you know a couple of these pages and so I looked through that little tub to see if there was any flowers in there and I found these so I pulled them out and I just started flipping through to see if they would work on a page and I laid this flower down in there and just thought that that was the coolest how this flower fit on there the way that it did I mean it almost lines up like with the bottom of her shirt so I thought that was a really 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 cool so that is why I placed those there and but then I started looking at this one here I last night just in my attempt to try to just start working on stuff in my journal I had this image on my work area for quite a while to cut out and I hadn't cut it out yet and so I started cutting it out last night and I finished it today and I thought well as I was kind of looking through my basket here I came across this image and you know what no that's not it the other day I was looking for a word or two and I started just going through a couple of magazines to heart and just to kind of once again just to try to get me back in the mode of creating and I decided to just grab a couple of magazines and start pulling images and words from and that is where this one came from I actually went through a travel magazine um, I think I just got a new one today come to think of it cover up my address so this magazine I have been getting it just because uh, for a school fundraiser for magazines um, I was looking through it and I was like okay if I'm gonna order a magazine um, to help you know support someone's child I don't remember who it was for but I was looking through and I was like what magazine would be the best you know for me with collage and I have a ton of fashion um, images and things like that so I thought a travel magazine would be good just for some different types of images and actually um, I didn't get a lot of images but I got some of the best words and phrases from from this magazine um, but that is actually where this came from here's a good pile of some of the words that I've been collecting out of just some of the magazines that I've been going through um, but anyways I came across this one. I had set it to the side to possibly go in this book, but 
But this one is actually all full as far as big images go. And I thought, well, maybe I can use it for something else. And I also came across this quote, which I have since cut into pieces. But it says, the ordinary arts we practice every day at home are of more importance to the soul than their, their simplicity might suggest. And I had seen this in my little bin here of words and phrases that I cut out of things. This one actually came from a Bella Grace magazine, I can tell because of the paper. But I thought, oh wow, you know, actually that would maybe go perfect with this. So then I had cut this out and it's like, well, you know what, actually that might look nice on here. So I think where this is going to end up going is in here, in this journal. And the reasoning why is because it's not going to go in my Field of Dreams one because all of these pages already have big images on them. And I know I want to keep all this flat as far as not, you know, have big bulky type pages like something in my junk journal. And I'm not ready to move on for anything in my collage journal because I already have the last few pages, you know, working in it. This, this is a smaller page and so I think it'll be perfect for my Nomad book. And also while I was going through this basket looking for things, I these had kind of fallen side by side in this stack and I realized how they're the same, kind of the same colors. So I thought that was really, really, really neat. I love it when things like this happen. I, um, oops, that's, you know, that's kind of that same, just little, little thing that happened here with these, with these flowers, how it just kind of fit perfectly where the colors lined up to fit. And I'm going to go ahead and have this set to the side so that I can also just look at this and maybe find a place, maybe a page will start building in here. Another place where the same thing happened is the page that I had kind of started the other night. Let me see if I can find it. I had it. I showed it to y'all in my last video. I did have it here this one here. I did have a sticky note in it and I had taken it out but when I was working on figuring out where to place this one that same thing has happened as far as the um, where did I have this to where it worked so well there here let me pull this in so you can see where it's lined up right there. So this is the two separate images, but I can place them so they line up like that. So that is where this one is going to go. This page is still kind of in the works. I need to finish it also. It's just a matter of me kind of sitting down with my found word and deciding exactly how I want this to go. I think I'm going to save this for later. Let me go ahead, since every single time I look for this page, I can't find it. So I'm going to put a sticky note on there. But I'm going to flip through and just see if I can find something with this picture of from the home. And I'm going to kind of keep this one out up here so that if I see like maybe where it can go. But for now, I'm just gonna focus on this one. I think you can see all of that well. Okay. I have kind of worked on the first few pages of this. I'm not doing it as far as front to back. It's just kind of how how it had worked out. Um, 
but here's, you know, I've got several pages kind of in the works. I really just need to sit down and do what I'm doing right now and kind of try to finish some of these pages up because so many of them are so close. That one could actually be finished with that right there. It really doesn't need much else. Uh, if I want, you know, I for sure can add more to it, but that's just really kind of nice and simple as it is. Actually, this <laughs> this might work on it. But adding something like that is where I imagine where this will go. Boy, I kind of like that, especially since there's that pink there, that flower, and there's the pink there. That looks kind of cool how it actually just follows along. I shouldn't be doing this because I had this flower picked out for this other page. I kind of like that. Hmm. Well, this is an interesting change of events. <laughs> um, get my scissors here. I don't know. I I I like that, but I think there's something something that might work a little bit better. Because actually, the this is just me being really, really, really silly, but with the pink on there it's not it doesn't I don't think I like it okay let's and I need to be careful with this because it's really fragile right about there um, but I just I saw this actually which would be crazy if we're gonna end up just doing this really next page but I like this and I want to keep this open because I like what it says, but I kind of feel like just with all these colors that this might go over here. I'm breaking one of my rules as far as I usually, I don't like having things going that way. Um, I would prefer that this was on this side and she was walking inwards towards the picture because it draws towards the center because it having her walking that way it draws your eye here draws your eye in here instead of her going that way but I like how all the colors of this look pretty nice hmm okay let's let's keep looking hopefully we'll find a spot and this just won't be will not just be see I even rather ha I just like it with her walking inwards if I did this then I would just need I could have something just to cover up over that little space And even with the images that I have tucked in on some of these pages, it's just a, you know, kind of a, yeah, that might work there. I don't know for sure if it will work there, but I kind of like the idea of it maybe being there. So I'm going to tuck that in there and see if if one day it wants to try to turn into, into a page. You can see where I've added things on these. I need to just go ahead and do this one because I've had this page tucked in here since the very beginning and it's 
all getting torn. I need to at least finally bite the bullet here a little bit and trim this up. I'm not going to trim it all the way because I don't really know. I'm going to leave leave some space over here, I think. I don't want to cut a ton of it off because I don't know how I'm going to want to place it in there eventually. But I need to at least get it to where it fits inside here and stops getting ruined on the top and bottom which I'm going to have to cut off something the bottom's either going to have to get cut off the bottom of these jars is going to have to get cut off a bit or the top of the plant a little bit of both this poor image I just always loved how this image looked beside these colors on this little palette. That's not totally cut down, but that will be a whole lot better. Okay, now let's if I cut off, I'm going to cut off the top here. Cut this closer to this leaf. Actually, I could cut this off and leave this side open some. I just need to make sure that, yeah, I'm going to leave that like that is for now. That helped a whole lot. That color-wise looks nice over here these colors here are definitely in with these colors here and actually the leaves are kind of the same shape I don't really care for the broomsticks coming out of the bottom and I would need to find something to tuck in up here to cover up this text I really don't like the broomsticks. I don't really know what would work there though. Because I would have to, yeah. Or I could try to paint over it. But I think that would that would wrinkle up the paper. Hmm, that's a bummer because I like this here. If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I have anything dark where I could cover that up. To see. I mean, that looks nice there. And I don't really think I'd want to put a piece of this dark paper there. I could. This would need something. Yeah, I don't know how I would, how I will tackle that. All right, let's keep looking. I don't want to spend a lot of time sitting here flipping through everything. That looks nice there.
Huh. Okay, so what I'm looking at <laughs> that I just noticed as I set this down here is we've got these shadow lines. I can actually kind of line those up. with the lines here. So that's kind of cool. And and I you know I don't know if anybody would notice that <laughs> whatsoever. But actually if I move it up here that kind of goes right there. If that would go there, actually this might get covered up. You know, I don't know if anybody would notice that, but to me, that's kind of fun. I could probably cut this bit off here because it's not really needed. And that blue there is a little distracting because there's really not any blue and the rest of this. That's kind of fun. All right, well, if I put it there, then I think I'm gonna cut these words up because I don't like the way that they look as they're really big. I'm not sure where I want to put them. I wonder if I should. Uh, a lot of, I mean, in almost all these, whenever I've done these, I, they've been, I've done both pages. I haven't just done like one side. I've done both sides. So that's why I'm kind of looking at this thinking, well, do I need to do both sides or... I just do one, which I don't need to do both sides. That's just how I've been doing this like, this whole time. So that probably just so both sides kind of go together. I think also what's throwing me off with this is the background of this is kind of, of these are, the color is kind of weird. Um, Let's see. See if we've got anything in here. And this is just a basket that I have that I've just put smaller images in that. I thought were pretty and I thought would look nice in my journal. I'm moving it out of the way so I can see what might work. I can't um, flip through it and actually I have to cover up those shoes somehow because I don't want the, that scene, which I'd have to put. I could probably put a bigger, bigger flowers or something there.
trying to move. Part of me wonders if I need to just stop trying to make these all match both sides because it's kind of silly. Okay, so it is actually Sunday evening now. It's 8.47 in the evening, and I am going to work on this page a little bit more. I don't know exactly how much I'll get done, but I thought that I would just kind of see what happens tonight. And I did last night go through my basket. I don't have my basket here. Um, go through my basket a bit of images. Let me grab my basket. I've got this basket here and it's full of images and I did look through it some last night and found a couple and definitely the ones that that I was drawn to were ones that fit in with the, the color scheme that was going on here so I need something to cover up the shoes here and then the words over here so I was looking for just kind of like two images and I don't know if I'll end up using this one here but I think I might leave this part open not sure I can cover it up if I want to but I do like the the labels the tape labels here how they look so I might use this one and then you know I liked this one here and once again she's like looking you know looking inwards we have both both people that are looking going in so it's drawing your eye in to the center of of the pages but then well, I found this one here that I thought would work and um, then I came across this one and I actually really like it and I like how it looks on here and it matches the colors it pulls some of the green from this side onto this side and then her outfit here has blue on it which is kind of the same color as the blue over here so I really liked how that just all kind of pulled all the colors together from from both pages so I think I'm gonna go with this one I do need to trim it um, there's some words right here part of a word so I need to see if I can make I think that'll fit if I cut this off and then cut that here I think that'll still cover up all of the shoes so the first thing I'm going to do is trim this image and see how it looks on on here and this this one is a magazine image from a regular fashion magazine so it is kind of glossy so it might Put some glare a little bit. I don't have any words picked out that are going to go on this side yet. That is something that I will probably do off camera because sometimes that can take a little while. 
Boy, that just barely fits. I really, that was close because I really should have, I should have kind of set that on there and looked at, looked at things first before I cut because that is like as close as I could possibly get. So I don't know if I want to mess with trying to cover up that little bit of shadow down there or not. Um, okay, so I'm going to put that there. I think I'm going to cut this one this way. And I'm not 100% sure on this image if this is the one I'm going to use here, but for now at least it works with the colors and it'll cover up that space, that bit of text, so that I can just kind of even see how it's coming together. I always look on the other side, see what's on the other side, see if it's something that I can save. If that wasn't the bent part of a book, then I could use that image, but that looks kind of weird since it's so the folded part of a magazine. But I always look on the other side. You never know what's on the other side. There could be parts of an image that you can use or some words or something like that. Actually, I think I might end up covering that up. I don't like how that white is there that's left over from this. Unless I cut this to fit inside. Inside the paper here, which I could do that. So it would probably be something more like... I'm just going to use this as like a placeholder to see if this would even work before I go cutting my image. I did something like that. Which I guess that would work. I think maybe if I find, figure out what I want to do word-wise, that might help me decide a little bit more. But I do like how there's kind of the, the greenery here, and then there's the greenery over on this page. Okay. Let's see, so I'm going to get out my basket of words and see if we can find something. I've got this basket here that's just full of words. And I've got a couple of our playbooks because these actually have some really, really great words and phrases in them. Um, let's see. And what I do whenever I am looking for found word, and I'll probably do this off camera because sometimes it can take a little while and. It's kind of a kind of sort of a meditative type thing whenever I do do this type of found word journaling is I will just get get my stool and sit down and just start going through all of these 
words and phrases that I have clipped out from just all sorts of everything. And um, there we go. I don't know if that's better on the glare or not. Um, and as I'm looking through them, I will just start pulling out the ones that catch my eye. And some of them, a lot of these, I, you know, I just clipped out the whole the whole bit of text because there's parts in there that I can use and I don't know what I'll want to use and a lot of times it's just easier to keep it together on one of these bigger sheets than to try to cut them all into pieces but I will just sit here and start looking through through this and this has gotten really full so <laughs> it's not as easy to look through as whenever it's a little bit not so full of stuff but I will just start looking through and as I see something that kind of catches my eye I just take it out and place it to the side and then I just move on and I just start doing that until I've got uh, just just a nice stack of words and then I will sit down and just look at them and see if anything kind of is wanting to come together into some sort of a sentence or a message or something like that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes a few come from it, you know, because if I sit here, it's easy for me to lose track of time and all of a sudden I've been sitting here for a while and I have this big, huge stack of, not stack, but this big, you know, lots of words to you know over to the side and sometimes I have so many that it's I can create several different phrases from from it so I don't really know if I want that to tie in really to the page to what the quote says on the other page so I'm just going to sit down and pause the camera here and just start looking through these and see if I can put something together. So I'm just going to do that and these words really come from everything. They come from magazines, uh, they come from junk mail, they just, you know, anything like that that's got words on it. I will I can't help but to clip anything that, you know, that seems like something that I might be able to use on a page. So, I'm going to do that. I, I need to do that now or I'm going to actually start looking and forget that you guys are here. So, I'm going to get started on that and then I'll be back in a little bit. And we'll see what I have pulled off on to the side. Okay, so it is the next day now. This is Saturday, and I'm still hunkered in. <laughs> I have not been out of my apartment since I got home Thursday night. So this is Saturday now. Um, let's see what's going on. It, well, we're still under a new winter storm warning. I don't know if you can see that. The temperature on its own is 5 below, and with the real feel, with the wind chill, it's 22 below. And it's supposed to get colder. <laughs> this, is, this isn't even, like, as cold as it's supposed to get by, like, Monday. They're already, and Tuesday, they're already talking about possibly having to cancel school on Tuesday because of the cold. So, my goodness. But what I ended up doing yesterday when I paused from this is I grabbed my basket, and this basket is overflowing with found word that I have cut out most well all of this is from magazines if I find any found word that I like um, out of books out of like fiction books and things like that I put those in something else because they're you know they're a lot smaller there might be some in here that are pretty thin 
but they're still mostly from, from magazines. Um, but that's what all of this is, and it's, it's a lot. And whenever I, I had gone a while ago and had sorted a lot of these out, and that's a big job also, but I do have quite a bit sorted out into some little, a little drawer unit that sits on top of my desk. It's one of those little uh, ones that you get from a hardware store to put like screws and nails and just little things like that in your um, workshop, um, you know, things like that. But it works great for 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 that. And I, I don't know, maybe one of these days when I'm wanting to do something, but um, something, oh, something creative, but not, um, you know, I don't know, just something, some busy work. This would be some really good busy work for me. But it's also nice having it like this because that's this is how I really like to to do my found word is um, when when I am looking for something that I want to do found word I literally just sit here at my space and I usually have some you know calming music on and I just start looking through all this and as I see something that that stands out to me, I will set it over to the side. So I'll have like the basket here and I'll just start looking through it and I'll just start setting things out to the side. And you and then things just kind of start start coming together. And that's how I do a lot of my found word. Unless I'm kind of looking for something specific. This for this I kind of was, but not really if that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> but what I did was I found I found this right here, and I had set it out because it goes together, and I wanted to make sure that it stays together because I had originally had this cut out for something else, and I ended up not using it. So I set it out, but then I thought, you know what, actually, um, I like how it looks there. So I think that's what I'm going to do, and, you know, then there's, there's words there. While I was looking through this, I did start finding some that I set up here to the top. Let me grab them. And just with with what I know is going on with the next page that I'm going to be doing in here. Actually, I thought about maybe putting some of this on there. Um, but I did kind of tuck some up here that might work on the next page. I forgot I had these that were a maybe for on here. So this is finding so I was gonna put like, it's better to find strength in daily inspiration. So That would actually go a lot with the quote also because the quote again is the ordinary arts we practice every day at home are more important are of more importance to the soul than their simplicity might suggest so this would also go nice over here but I want to change it a little bit um, I don't need Y on there My phone's just, I thought I turned my, I thought I had turned things off. Um, okay. I think I want it to say, <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm going to take this off, so I don't want why. And I'm going to save that because that's a good word to keep. And I actually, in my drawer, I have one that's just called common words. And it's ones that sometimes I think that I might need, but might not necessarily be easy to find. That way, if, you know, if I'm if I'm building, if I've started building something with words out of here and I need a word, I have some of the words that I use a lot organized in those drawer units and then I can, you know, pick from there to, to build to build a sentence. So, let's see. I'm going to move this down. So, it's better to, and I don't need it to say finding strength, I need it to say find. So I'm going to cut the ing off of that.
very carefully. I'm going to cut it as close to the eye as I can. Okay, why it's better to find strength in daily inspiration. Oh, it's better to find strength, not why. Cut the why off of there. I think one of the reasons why I love doing found words so much is because I just really don't like writing in my journal. I have a really big problem with that. And I know it's my, um, my perfectionism which ruins it. But I also just like the look of of text, the graphicness of it, I think that I just like that better than if I, I wrote it. Okay, so it's better to find strength in daily inspiration, and this says be in your moment. Now, the other thing that I have been doing recently, this past few years, is I don't use, because my journals have always been me talking to myself. I'm, you know, me being my own best cheerleader. Um, just, you know, and it's always been just me talking to myself. And so I've always used, talk, you know, talk to it as your, like you, you need you know, you need to begin again. You need to start. You need to rediscover your path. You need to rejuvenate your spirit. And lately, the past few years, as I've been going through everything that I've been going through and all these changes, um, I have been for sure just trying to to own things more and be aware of things more and aware of just me and and how my brain works and my thoughts and things like that and I have been changing well not changing now when I have words in my journal and I'm talking to myself I do it in first person now so I would change, I need to change this to be in, okay, sorry, I am, it's morning and I got up recently and I'm, I'm coughing a lot, so, um, please forgive me for all of the cuts in and out, because these coughs are just like sneaking up on me and all of a sudden I cough. Um, so I would want to change this to say, be in my moment, not your moment. Um, and I actually, my is actually a hard, <laughs> a hard word to find. It's not used a lot in text. So anytime that I find MY together in a magazine or me, uh, you know, ME together in a magazine, I cut them out and I put them in this little silly little creamer dish cup, which I need to change this because I went through a lot of stuff the other day and I have quite a few mice cut out so there's a bee here's a my I don't know if I have a bigger one or not oh actually that's <coughs> excuse me I put that over the wrong word I need to get a bigger cup bigger little a bigger thing to put these in but that's just something that has really just helped me a lot as I'm doing these pages and processing what I am you know, my thoughts that I am getting out in these pages that by changing that to I and my <clears throat> and me instead of you and your, it, it just is really helping kind of reframe my mind a bit on things. So I'm going to do that here and um, up here it says you are beautiful. So if I'm going to stick with, with what I say, I need to change that. And you know, I don't like that it says it's better to find strength in daily inspiration. It's best to find strength in daily inspiration. So I think I actually cut out best a couple times. 
Um, let me see. And I feel like it might be in one of these. I know that I cut out the word best a couple of times. I remembered. There, look. Best. So this is, and I've got for my drawers, I've got a couple that say common. So these are the little drawers that they're in, and I'll I have I'm sure that I've already posted a picture um, up here when I was talking about this earlier. Um, so I've got one that says common, and so that's just like everyday words, just like really common stuff, you know, like to the with you know, things like that. Then I have one I have one that says builders, and that was just like parts of sentences. So kind of like sentence builders is the way that I saw it. So this, I did this when I really, when I like first started really doing a lot of found word journaling and I had, I didn't have things like this. <laughs> so it was easier for me to organize them in these little drawers because honestly I've got another drawer over here on this side that looks just like this. So the amount of found word that I have is obscene. Um, but so then I have one that's called descriptive. So just, you know, descriptive words <clears throat> and then action words and things. So objects and things, um, positive change, um, faith, uh, anger, fear. Um, and then I've got a couple drawers that have that on the bottom of just the way this is made that are bigger. So it has bigger bigger um, ones that wouldn't fit in here. So that's just kind of, at the time, that's how, you know, the, the categories that I was using. So then I've also got one that says ATC. So it's one, ATCs is in artist trading cards. So it's ones that I thought would work good on like my little art cards that I do. So, um, all right, so there we go. That's that really quick. <laughs> that is that that system in a nutshell, but I want this to say best. I feel like I had a smaller best than that big one. You know, and, and it, it's sometimes I have to kind of think, it's like, well, is that a description? Descriptive word? Is it, you know, so here's like gone, past, Perfect, special, invisible, next. Okay, well, all right. I was looking for one that was maybe written a bit smaller than this, but that's okay. That's kind of the beauty of found word is that, you know, it's like ransom note in this sense and everything's kind of different, so. I'm going to take this one. It's is another one that's hard to find. That's one that I always clip out if I find it. And I'm trying not to be like obsessive about having this look perfect on here when it's, I'm not even gluing things down yet. I'm just laying things out. So that's, Kind of silly. So I cut out better, and I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put that over here in my descriptive drawer because I might still need to need that some other time. All right. Yeah, I'm. I don't know if I'm fully awake yet, and it is. Just It is, it's best to find strength in daily inspiration. And then it says, be in my moment, which I can maybe separate those a little bit. Okay, so then I want to cover this up. You are. And I was actually thinking about that earlier. And so I already kind of started looking for I am because am is another one that's difficult to find. I don't know. I haven't 
looked in my drawers actually. I feel like there might be there might be one in here. But you know, there's just some of the words that I'm seeing is here's a my. I need to take that out, put that in my little cup. Um, you know, with much. Oops, where did it go? Oh no, there it is. There we go. Um, from what you know, those just there's a lot of yours in here because this, you know, when I first started, when I well, all of my found word previously, except for the past couple years, I've always used yours. So, um, so I already kind of started looking earlier while I was waiting for my coffee to make. And when I'm when I need a word like am and my, and I can't find one, a lot of I will um, go through a book or a magazine or something that has, especially magazine. Well, magazines are good because they're just full of advertising and whatnot. And I will literally like look through this and look at these words and try to find a word that has those two letters side by side. So I'm looking for the word am and I found the word hamstrings and so I'm going to cut the am out of the middle of that word. And I need an I too, which I might get that from someplace else. But I think this is a good size. Also, these um, um, these letters. I should have cut that. Well, I couldn't. I was going to say I should have cut that a little bit bigger so that I could cover up the previous word behind behind there. Um, let's see here. I need an I. I think I'm going to look in a different space. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I might have to get out the paint to cover to cover that up where it says you are where it says you are see that's not going to the, I, the am isn't going to work there but I had to cut it real close to the letter since I took it out of the middle you know of a word so now I just need an I And there's lots in here, of course. I'm just kind of looking for one that's a good size for what I need. Actually, you know what we might do? Okay, let's let's try this here. I'm going to move this because I'm afraid I'm going to set something on top of it and I'm going to lose all these little bits of words that I've got. So... This is another thing that I do. If I find the letters, but they're not in the right order, I will cut them and rearrange them. So here's an M and an A. And then here's an I that matches along with these letters. closely as I can. Uh, 
the sides to the other letter so I've got as much space as possible. Okay, so now here we are. We are back. It is actually September 10th, 2024 now, and I'm pretty sure that the first part of this video, well, I know it is because on my watch, I could see a Halloween uh, watch face, so I know that the last video, the last part of the first part of this was uh, recorded in October of last year. So let's see where things are in here. I have got, I have not opened this up since um, I had done that that worked on that video um, last year so I know I've got a couple of pages where I was starting on things I actually have another video that I had started where I'm working on this one here and um, actually I've got plenty of time today so I might go ahead and work on this one too later in a separate video but for now let's finally get this one done I don't even know what all's going on here <laughs> I probably should have gone back and really watched this. I know I had some words going on to put over part of this. So let's see if I can manage to put this back how I had originally thought or maybe something different is going to happen now since it's been a while since I've worked on all of this. but. I know that all of this is like this because I wanted to cover up that there and all of this goes over here. So really the part that I'm not sure about and I'm sure I can figure it out is what words I had put here which I know that I was changing this to I am beautiful not you are. I remember that. So, uh, where's my clip? I'm going to clip this down because that's just kind of trying to bubble out a little bit. I'd rather that be flat. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be to the side here for a minute. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just, I need to not mess with these. Let's do this other side first, and then I can figure out the words for this page. Because this, I know, it's just a matter of putting stuff down. And I want to make sure that I line. I want to line the shadow up down here with the shadows that's in the image. So I'm just going to use model adhesive to put this down because it's quick, easy, it works really well for me in this journal. I like using model adhesive when it's just paper to paper like, like this. When it's, you know, not a big, big, huge full page. I'm um, putting down a full image. Like in my big collage journal, I would actually use a glue stick to put the whole thing down but in this journal I like there's my eye in this journal I just like using mono adhesive so overthink it. And for the floral, I am going to use my liquid glue. This is what I've been using. I picked this up at Michael's um, because it was the best amount of glue for the price so I have to be pretty frugal when it frugal when it comes to what I purchase and so I try to get you know the best quality the best quantity for what I'm paying and I have just been putting it in these little squeeze bottles with the the little 
um, needle nose point on it and it has been working really 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 well for me for putting down these florals that I like to use so much. The bottle does have a pretty fine point um, into it but for me I really really need the super small so I think these are little Tim Holtz bottles I'm not sure I don't remember I know I did pick them up at Michael's as well um, so let's go ahead and get this down And this glue does stick really well. I just was working in a different journal in a video the other day and had decided that I didn't like something that I had glued down and I was trying to peel it off and it did not want to peel off at all. So, um, so that's good. I know it sticks well. But in that moment, I was wishing that it hadn't, but I ended up making it work. So, let's see if I can get this down where I want it. How did I have this laying? How come it looks different? Okay, well. Is this twisted? Can't tell. Nope. that is really delicate right there. Putting that glue on it, <clears throat> excuse me, putting the glue on it really made, made it even more fragile. I'm just patting it down with a little piece of, uh, this used to be a t-shirt of mine, and I'm patting it. I'm not rubbing it because if I rub it, there's a chance I could snag it on the edge of one of these little pieces and tear, tear that, and that would be a bummer. So let's see. The Ordinary Arts. We practice every day at home our more important to the soul than their simplicity might there we go and then I've got the person who said the quote here Thomas More I'm going to put this down at the bottom well this little nubby here there upside down. I need to clean my tweezers. They've got stuff on them. I think I just want to put this over here. I think. I'm not sure. I don't want it to get lost in all the floral stuff over here. Maybe I should put it on this side. I don't know if I like it up that high, so let's see.
Maybe I should go ahead and cut this one. I was trying not to have it, so it was like... Um, so they weren't all totally the same, but here we go. See, this is when I can start just like completely overthinking things. I don't know if I like it on that side. And I don't think I would like it down here. Kind of like how this is open. cover up a lot of the flowers on here but I'm gonna let that sit for a minute because I don't want to like be rushed because I know I can feel myself trying to rush uh, since I know that this video is already like 40 minutes long and now I feel the pressure of finishing this quickly. And I don't want that to influence my decision on where I place the words. I kind of like it here. I'm just line, lining it up with the side a little bit. I could probably line it up completely with this, but like I said, I really wanted to keep some of these, the white flowers not covered, but then again, I like that being open. So let's, I'm going to let that sit for a minute and let that sit and marinate and try to figure out that in a second. So over here, um, be in. My best moment. Let's see, what is this? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, let's see, what was I trying to say? I should have gone back and look. Strength and daily inspiration. Find strength in. There's an I. I don't know if I have a oh well no wait I think I know what the I think I know what this was I think I figured that out let's see what's this um it's Okay, I'm not sure what I was going to say. If 
find strength in daily inspiration. I don't know what this it's is for. And I don't see any other words. Am to I believe what I was gonna do with this was change this around. Right now it's MA and I'm pretty sure I was going to swap these letters around and turn it to AM. So I'm going to do that. build my own word here. Sometimes it's not easy to find some of these words that you would think would be easy, like am. Sometimes it's not easy to find bigger uh, bigger ones. So there's am there. I'll let that dry and then I'm going to trim it. Or I could just use that to cover up the UR. I might do that and just get an I because I, an I on its own is not big enough to cover up the U. You know, I think I'm going to do that. Let's see. There. That works. Okay. And I'm just using a glue stick for this. I guess that's all right. I'll if I'm missing a word because it was it's something too I wonder if a word has fallen out or if I'm not seeing it if it's stuck behind something because there's got to be a word that was going to go here and since it's since this has been sitting so long, it is very likely that it fell out. Unless I had it this way. It's best to be in my moment. I wonder if that's the way that I had it. All right, so I actually went back and looked at the video and this is the way that I had it. It's best to find strength and daily inspiration be in my moment. Okay, so I was not quite sure how I had that and was afraid I had, wasn't getting it the right or whatever. So, all right, I'm gonna move these out of the way and start adhering this stuff down. 
keep this in the right order so I don't forget again. So I did have all the words, I just had part of it separated uh, out, not the right way. So, okay, I'm going to put this one down first. And once again, I'm just going to use my mono adhesive. I really, really, I don't know if you can hear me over that. I really love uh, working in this book as a journal and working on top of of these pages like this. It is a really fun way to start and to use uh, what's in the book. I'm not quite sure how close I want to put that to the edge. I guess I'll leave. I don't really like that white that gray spot there but I don't want to have I'm afraid if I put too much stuff right here in the in the well I don't know what the, I can't, my brain just go totally shut down I don't want to put it as close to the where this the signature is because that will really if I did that for every page it would completely bulk up this this book really quick uh, by having you know lots of stuff there along the edge so I don't really like that um, but I don't the alternative is not as good I guess I could even paint over that if it really really bothered me um, but what I was which kind of goes to what I was getting ready to say is that I haven't completely decided how I want to progress with this book, with this journal, as far as working in the pages in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put her down low enough so that she covers this part up. It's not that big of a deal, but I think I'm going to. But this is this book has a ton of pages it's not wanting to stick to this I need to put it on the side hold up I'm gonna glue it on the side it's hard for me to press it down over there well this mono adhesive is not wanting to come off on this paper which is a really weird thing and it does this actually is it empty well that might be part of the problem no, I don't think it's empty. I don't, let me see. Some of the Bella Grace papers, it doesn't like coming off on either. There we go, that's better. Um, so, as far as working through this book, I'm not quite sure what I want to do. There are a ton of pages in here. And the paper is a really nice, sturdy, sturdy paper. And let me see here if I can flip this back. Um, there's 250 some odd pages in here in the book itself. So, and it's a hardcover, and I do not know if it would be even possible to do something like this, some sort of collage on every single page in this book without the book just, you know, being completely, like, opened up, like, well, like my junk journal, you know, it won't, my junk journal just won't even, <laughs> it won't, it, it stays open, it's open all the time because it's just so full, and I'm afraid that that's what this will do, so I'm kind of torn on how, what to do if I should just kind of keep on working on this, as I get to pages because I am kind of working in it wherever I'm not working in it front to back I'm you know as I find an image that I want to use and it and it works somewhere inside this journal then that's where that's the page that I do at that time so I'm wondering if I'll just kind of keep on doing that and then when it gets to the point 
to where this book is starting to get too bulky, then maybe I can start removing pages from it that I know that I might not really ever work on or ones that I don't like. I think I'm going to use a glue stick for this. And I'm going to glue part of this down. I'll tell you why here in a second. Um, so that's kind of kind of where I'm at with it because I don't want this to just get super huge and super crazy and it can if I just keep on working on it and try to add on every single page. But I don't necessarily want to now start pulling pages out because there might be one in here that I might like to, you know, that might work for something. So for now, I'm just going to kind of work in it bit by bit and see. And I'm lining up this stem with the edge of this image. And I didn't, I did not put glue on everything because I'm going to go ahead and then slip this in because I want this to be level. I was afraid that if I glued it in beforehand, actually I think I'm going to do this one. If I glued it in beforehand, there was a chance that I would get this in lopsided and I did not want to do that and I've done that before so um, anyway so that's, that's kind of where I am as far as with working in this it's going to be quite a while before I get to that point I've I've done a handful of pages in here probably more than what it feels like that I've done but uh, how much of that I don't really want that to go over her shirt. Mm, okay, so this is even, and what I'm going to do, because this is just how I am and I hate for things to go to waste, I'm going to reach back here and kind of eyeball this, and I'm going to cut... this off. I need to put glue here. Doing this kind of awkward. I already got a glue stick going. that dried on me. And I've got some glue right there. I'm going to try to very carefully rub that off. And this magazine image is a little bit thicker than most, so I was able to rub a little bit of that off. So now, see, I've got that, and I mean, if I wanted to, I could probably tuck it someplace. Actually, up there. Excuse me, got the my nose is kind of sniffly this morning. I could tuck it up there, or I could just put this in my little basket of stuff. I kind of like it up there. Or if I really wanted to, I could put it over on this side. Um, all right, so let's see. Now, figure out where we want to put all these words at. And I'm just going to use a glue stick to glue these down. And I've just got a piece of, this is actually a piece of parchment paper. A lot of times I just use deli paper, but that's what I like to to place these on and then, you know, rub the glue on it, and that way I'm not getting glue on my work area. I'm not getting it on my work area, and, you know, if I'm out and about somewhere and I'm working in anything like this, I always take a piece of paper like that to 
to use to protect the table that I'm working on because I don't ever ever want to leave a mess when I go and work somewhere. So let's see. It's best to... I don't think I need that. That's extra. It's best to find strength in daily inspiration. All right. Now, let's see. These words are kind of up here in this green. They're getting lost. I don't like it up there. Care for it there. Nope. Okay. Well, Alright, let's do this. I don't think I would want... No, let's keep it all down here. I'm going to put those down first. Kind of start at the bottom and work my way up. That'll help me keep it as... spaced as I want and hopefully somewhat even. When I went back to look at what I had originally put on here, I found <laughs> I found another part, a video from this that I had done. So this is quite a bit longer than what I had originally thought. But that's all right. I mean, it does take a while to put these together. I used to always do sped up videos. I never did ones where I talked. I always did sped up. And, oops, here anymore. I'm sure a lot of that was because my kids were little, so, and, you know, they were home. And so I was still working in my journals, but I had noisy little kiddos in the background, and so I just always did sped up videos, and now that they're both teenagers, um, it's a little bit easier for me to do this. I'm not sure what people prefer. I don't know if you would rather it be sped up or if you'd rather, if you like it slow like this and listening to me ramble about why I do things the way I do, um, or if you'd rather it be sped up. So that's just kind of one of those where I don't think there's no way to please everybody. So I do my best, but. 
I guess I feel now that, and I know that I'm like this, I kind of like the ones that are longer because there are days and evenings where I do get kind of lonely and I uh, will put on a video of somebody working in their journals or if, you know if it's like a someone's doing a live stream or a recorded live stream a lot of times I will put those on in the background and it's just kind of nice to have a little bit of company somebody to create with uh, virtually so I guess that's another reason why I've kind of been doing it this way but I would really like to hear your opinions on that once again I know I can't there's no way to make everybody happy I know some people like it quick like it sped up and some people like it real time so I think I'm gonna put this here I don't really want to cover up this area and I think that's probably where it's going to be. And I don't think I like it down here. I'm going to move this around one more time and then I'm going to commit because this video is long enough. Speaking of long videos, I don't think I would want to do something like this. Let's split it up a little bit. I wish that this quote was, you know, on something that, you know, was on a solid background instead of it being on this textured looking background. Do we like that? my overthinking mind is it that big of a deal <laughs> that's that's the thing is it really that big of a deal I guess I could maybe well I don't want that upside down actually I kind of like that because that opens up these flowers and I really want those to be shown so I think I might do it like this. All right, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this because like I said, I am overthinking this ridiculously. <laughs> it's just it's it's crazy, 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 crazy. So I'm gonna let's see. I think I'm gonna start here at the top on this one. And I'm just lining it up kind of along the edge of this image here. Make sure I've got this in the right order. The ordinary arts we practice every day at home are of... Oh, see, look, I did it. Oh, I'm glad I checked that. Oh, my goodness. All right. I got so focused on... Um, the order on how I wanted it I've gotten these out of order the ordinary arts we practice every day at home are of more importance to the soul so this goes here okay more importance to the soul then there's okay Whew, that was close <laughs> oh my goodness all right that was close one you all probably were watching that too. Saw it. Maybe if you can could have if you can read this from your view. Um, <laughs> you're probably like, don't yelling at me through the camera, saying, don't put it down. It's in the wrong order. Oh. 
Okay. I know I've done that before in the past and not noticed it until I posted, you know, like a photo of it online and then I was like, oh my gosh, I like completely have that written out wrong. It happens. It happens. Okay. So let's see. I think I'll start with this one. After, after I get done with this, I'm going to leave this out to dry a little bit because I've kind of shifted these just a smidge and I want to make sure that's good and dry before I close this. That's one thing about using glue sticks is a lot of times you can, you've got a little bit of wiggle room to move things around. Like I could probably still move these around if I wanted to. I could kind of shift them a little bit. All right, there we go. So now let's see, should we adhere down this other little bit of flower? If I could turn this upside down, I would maybe put it on this side. I don't know if I necessarily like it over there. And I might, you know, let's just Yeah, that doesn't work behind her. And it wouldn't work there. Not enough room there. I don't really want it to cover over her. It's got a little bit of a stem right there. And there's a little bit where the Whenever I was moving it around on something, I pulled some of the paint off. So I'm just going to cut that off. <clears throat> Excuse me, and make it look like a petal down there. There. Yeah, I think I'll stick it there. Might as well. What the heck, right? If I didn't put it there, um, I would place it in. I've got a little basket that's full of just little bits and pieces and leftover half cut out parts of flowers and whatnot just like this. I've saved all of these because I always use them somewhere. Never fails. I can always find a place to use them to fill in here or there. So okay I think we did it. <laughs> it took me what almost a full 12 months to finish these. I started these in October took me 11 months because this is September so how about that <laughs> um, I really like it though I like how it turned out I like how they both kind of flow together as far as in the color schemes and whatnot and got everything done right and then next I know I've got a partial video on this one here and it's going to be the same situation where I've got all sorts of words and stuff cut out but I know that this one is actually probably pretty close to being put together as well so I'm well I think I will I will work on this one one next so it's gonna be a matter of me sitting down with all the words that I've got here and whoa that's bent and just kind of getting that figured out. And then I'll finish these up and 
we'll see what is next on things. I know that I am ready to start gluing things down in this journal and I might work on that a little bit. I've got a few pages in this journal here that are ready to go that I need to put down as well. So I've got lots, lots going on and lots to share. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I don't know where the page is at. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been here alone and I'm not used to talking right now. So my voice keeps on cutting in and out. I'm not sure where it went. Oh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so, so, so much for being here um, and watching this page of needing to take 11 months to be completed, be completed. So take care, everyone. If you have any questions, please, please be sure to um, let me know down in the comments. I'm really trying really hard to um, stay on top of that and get back with you all because I do appreciate it when you do ask me questions. When you interact with me, let me know how you're doing, how you're feeling, what you're up to, uh, things like that. I do love hearing from you and um, take care. I hope you're all doing well and I will be back again here in a little bit. I love you so much. Thank you and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.